guess it doesn't get any easier um, losing back-to-back -back finals. No, it certainly doesn't. Um, we thought we were a pretty good chance at the halfway mark. Um, Wicket was playing pretty well. Wasn't much spin. Um, but yeah, just fortunately a few things just didn't quite go right. And as we know in T20 cricket, can happen all pretty quickly. And um, yeah, it's just it's a shame. Do you agree that was um, a chase of total? Yeah, I certainly think it is. I think if we get off to a decent, half decent start and um, and get going, yeah, it's, it's comfortably chaseable. But losing three wickets in the first three overs probably hurts you. Um, Storm picking out the one bloke on the fence and me getting the one ball that Steve O'Keefe spins all tournament. So, um, yeah, it happens. As a team, is there a pattern? I mean, that's the pattern that you guys bowling under pressure a bit with the bat. I wouldn't, that, no, I wouldn't say that. Do no. you put it down to um, it's a bit of a lottery in time every game? Is that what you put it No, as I said, it is a bit of a lottery. I thought, I thought we bowled okay. I thought we still probably gave them another probably 15, 20 too many. I, I, I thought we had control of them through the middle and. Uh, we just leaked a bit, we just mis-executed, was able to get Jordan Silk into the game and um, and yeah, just just couldn't quite crack it. Like uh, We take one more wicket there and it's it's probably around 100 uh, off 12 overs and, and it's quite comfortably chaseable and we probably don't have to play around with the batting order too much, we can go it without the way we've been going but um, when it's sort of around 10 and over, um, yeah, we had to probably go a little bit more aggressive and hence why I went up to three and, um, and tried to sort of take it on. Uh, yeah, it certainly does. Like last year was, was pretty tough to take, but I think the fact that we had such a dominant season, we played so well throughout the whole tournament. Um, we were able to play a lot of our list. We were able to get some game time in different people. Um, it, it was just such a successful season to sort of see different guys stand up at different times. Um, and to, to fall short, I think, um, yeah, to fall short in a game where we thought we were right in it. Even even at the end, we had Putin on Lark and hitting the ball beautifully. Um, we never felt out of it. Even when it was 20 and over, we still thought, still back these guys to hit this. Where, um, yeah, it, it's hard to take. You said you had such a regular season. You lost five of your last six now to finish the season. Is there something that changed in that period? Uh, no, we played the Sixers three times. So, it, um, and, and they got all their big guns back. So it's, it it makes it hard when they, they've obviously got three high quality international players that come back in the mix. Um, you combine that with a, a lot of T20 experience as well. They had plenty of T20 experience come back in their side where probably, um, yeah, I, I suppose the, the biggest one for us was Zampa was um, was missing and we missed those four overs from him in the middle um, when he went away and um, we had to find ways to sort of cover him. But um, yeah, to have those three big inclusions after the test summer and the one days were finished, it was, they're, they're a formidable side when they come back. What, what did you? What were your thoughts on the LBW decision? Whose? Yours. Well, I don't know. It looked looked out afterwards. I don't know what the hawk I said. It doesn't really bother me. It's out there, so. Cool. Thank you. Cool. Thanks. 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 Thanks.